morning everybody it's me Vic hi how was your weekend mine was great happy Monday okay so today I wanted to just come on and do a chat video and talk about getting older hot flashes irregular menstrual cycle okay and the reason for that is because I've been going through these changes lately and I have a couple of questions because I never had a chance to really talk to anyone regarding these issues that I'm about to ask you guys and talk about. And uh, I figured, why not make a video and this way anybody that can relate to what I'm about to talk about can give me some tips, help me out here, and help me to be able to deal with this issue that I've been having, okay? So first and foremost, I am aging, I'm getting older. It is what it is, nobody uh, is going to stay young forever. That's just not the way it works. So I, I accept that. I have no choice, right? So I'm not going to say how old I am, okay? So put it this way. I'm between the ages 35 to 50, okay? <laughs> so basically, last year I've been noticing changes in me. And the change that I've been noticing is when it comes to irregular menstrual cycle, I have not been... Um, having my my uh, my cycle my period put it that way the way that I used to you know before last year I would have my menstrual cycle consistently it'll come on let's say let's just make an example on the 15th I knew that it would come around the 15th sometimes it'll come a little bit later but it always comes consistently for four to five days and blah blah but lately uh, so last year actually uh, I would skip for like a month, then I would panic. Like, oh my God, am I pregnant? Oh my God. So I would get scared all the time because I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I went to the doctors and the doctor said, I'm not pregnant, thank God. And the fact that uh, I am starting to experience perimenopause. And basically that's when your body is starting to change and it's letting you know that you're getting older. And before you know, when I hit a certain age, like 50, I will no longer have a menstrual cycle anymore. And with that, you, I am going to go through these changes regarding my periods, hot flashes, uh, the, every changes, put it that way. So I do a lot of research and I try to figure out what's happening with me. And uh, so as of right now, I'm not menopause, but I will be heading that I'm heading there in a couple of years, I will be in 50, you know, in a couple of years. So I will definitely be there. But as of right now, I'm just like in the in the middle here and I'm, it's beginning. So that's been weird and it's frustrating to me because I do not like, I don't like not knowing when my menstrual cycle is coming because I'm confused. And there's days that I go two, three months, no menstrual cycle. Then when it does come, it, take, it comes like heavy for like, oof. there was last year I had my period for like a month. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, am I dying here? This is weird. And even when I spoke to my doctor, I said, oh, it's normal, you're fine, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right now. So then comes the hot flashes. That's the worst. Like, I hate hot flashes. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, it annoys the crap out of me. And basically, for those of you who are young, you are, will not experience that right now. But as you get older, you will. Meaning that you feel hot, like you have like this fever. Like you feel like a fever is coming on and you're like, oh my God, you gotta fan yourself. And then it goes away, then you're, then you're cold. You're like, oh, I'm cold. Then you're back to hot. So my husband thinks I'm crazy. He's like, what the heck is wrong with you? You're weird. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm going through, I'm going through menopause, perimenopause. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Because when I go to the doctor, the doctor says to me, oh, you're too young to go to menopause, go through menopause. And you're basically at the going to go through the emotions at perimenopause. That's like pre-menopause, but not the actual menopause. So anyway, my husband thinks something's wrong with me. He's like, you sure you're okay? You know, my family's like, you know, it's nice and warm in here. Then I'm like, Ooh, I'm cold. Then it's like, I'm hot. And I'm constantly like fanning myself like, Ooh. and I start sweating. And at night, I have night sweats. Oh my God. I was like, my husband cannot hold me at night. Like he likes to put his arms around me. I'm like, get off, I'm hot, I'm dying. I have to take the covers off. And then in a couple of minutes, I'm freezing. I got the covers back on. I'm like, Ooh, it's cold. Then I'm like, I'm hot again. And he's like, this is weird. 
okay so it's been really frustrating for me and there's really nothing that I can really do so I want to just talk to you ladies who have been experiencing that what is it that you do to help with that is there anything that I can do now I did see that there's medications you could take I don't do medication because once you start taking pills for things that's when you start having issues and before you know it, you have cancer or you have knock on wood you have all these different issues I don't like to take anything I want everything to be natural you know what I'm saying so that's the reason why I'm wondering if there's a natural way of going by this where I don't have to experience these hot flashes that's the worst. That's the problem that I'm having right now. Hot flashes. As far as the irregular menstrual cycle, uh, I've been having it started last year. I'm used to it. I, I, didn't, I skipped a period this, this month. I didn't have it last month. And now I'm in I'm February and I'm like, oh, am I pregnant? I don't, you know, I know I've been very careful. So that's what's confusing. Like, how, how do you know if you're pregnant or not if you're not having a consistent menstrual cycle? And before you know it, I'm like, I'm eight months pregnant and not know it. I'm like, that's that's really, that's not good. That is not cool. So I'm definitely taking precautions for that to avoid being in a situation like that because I, I don't need any more children. I'm good with what I have. And But it's just the principle of having to go through these changes. And when you're aging, you don't realize that you have to go through this. And it's perfectly normal to go through it. But I personally do not like it, especially the hot flashes. It gets on my nerves. I'm constantly like me all the time this feels so good to do this okay because I need this I need a fan this is something that I got in New York City it's called Broadway's shirt day anyway I this is what this is me constantly and then then I'm then I'm cold again it's really really frustrating as hell I can't stand as a matter of fact I feel it coming on right now <laughs> I feel like this this heat just coming all the way up in my head and I'm like whew you see I jinxed myself. I was doing good. You see, this is what I have to do. And I just wanted to just make a video and talk about that with you guys. And so you guys could please tell me what it is it that you guys do. The ones who's experiencing this type of thing, you know, and uh, and I guess I spoke to my doctor and she basically was like, oh, you have to, you know, change your diet, you know, stay away from caffeine. That's another thing. I love coffee and you're not supposed to drink coffee. And I'm like, oh my God, how do I get that out of my diet? I always have a cup of coffee. Every morning I've been having coffee for like a long time. That's going to be hard. And I think and my doctor did tell us, say to me that I have to not drink that much caffeine or don't drink it at all. And to diet, drink water, exercise, stuff like that. And I haven't been exercising as consistently as I should. So that's another thing too. And because I wasn't experiencing, when I was working out consistently, I've been, bad I stopped working out again and that's not good so I need to really get back into my workout routine I started today actually getting back into my workout routine to see if that would help and I drink a lot of water that I've been doing a lot and you know that's basically it and you know and I'm eating more healthy I'm trying to do anything I can do possibly natural to avoid feeling these hot flashes, it gets on my nerves, it's crazy, I don't like it, it seems like it's getting worse. So, that's what the video is about, it is what it is, when you're aging, you have to go through certain things, and I know that there's more. I just wanted to come on and just talk about that really quick, and hopefully you guys can give me some really good tips on what it is that I can do to stop these crazy hot flashes. And as far as my irregular menstrual cycle, I guess that's just natural, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. Take care and have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.